As cases continue to surge here in Dallas County and the 4th of July weekend approaching, health experts say the best thing you can do is to wear a mask. Dallas County saw back to back days of 400 or more COVID-19 cases, 408 Sunday and 454 Monday. This as health officials say there's been a 54% increase in hospitalizations since June 1st. I haven't really found any numbers that are trending good at this point. So, you know, taken together, I think we should all be very concerned. Dr. John Carlo is on the coronavirus task force for the Texas Medical Association. Governor Abbott and others in the health community say the surge is a combination of Memorial Day, Mother's Day and reopening businesses. There are no words yet on the impact from recent protests. Also, people letting their guard down when it comes to taking coronavirus precautions. Can't correct the past of some people not wearing, but how important is it to wear face masks now, especially where we are seeing the surge in cases and in hospitalizations? Well, I think right now that the face mask use is, is more important. And the reason is, is as we've seen more cases, you know, even, even if we're just saying we're testing more, we still are seeing that that's more cases. We know there's more infections that are out there. We can look at the testing rates and see that that's also going up. Dallas County health officials say an increase in numbers of new COVID-19 cases are young adults ages 18 to 39. Carlos says while hospitalizations continue to rise, hospitals have enough beds. The 4th of July holiday is next weekend. Carlos says after holidays is when Dr. C increases, saying after Thanksgiving, the flu spikes. And on the 4th of July weekend is when the West Nile virus cases increase. This year, it will be the coronavirus, according to Carlo. I do worry that um, as we're doing the holiday weekend, that people will be less diligent and more complacent on the social distancing measures. And the outcome will be that we see, unfortunately, even more cases after the 4th of July. Um, and so, you know, I think this is really the right time for us to really be worried about this and, and take this seriously. I talked to Dr. Phil Wong over the weekend. He says that they are doing even more with contact tracing, trying to alert people who may have come in contact with someone who recently tested positive. He says, don't be alarmed if you get a text message to your phone. They're trying a lot of ways, Heather, to connect with people so that they can be informed and take the proper precautions.